Hello, Wolfmind here, and today we're going to be playing some Gary's Mod, and what we are going to be doing in this game is making a ship, and I talked a little bit about this in my 2013 preview video, and basically I take a topic and I build that ship during that session, so this could be like three or four parts, like three or four videos of me doing one certain thing, and then it will change. So, this time I've chosen to make a ferry that will be able to go from the shore out there all the way over there and, and actually take a working vehicle along for the ride. And it might sound pretty hard, but it really isn't. I mean, the boats in Gary's Mod, you can't really make them too good looking without having to take a lot of time. But we're just going to make a simple little boat that works and actually has a good enough spot to sit and drive it. So yeah, we're going to get get started here, and uh, as for um, next sessions, feel free to leave a comment during any of these videos on any, like, idea you want. Like, for example, a uh, passenger ferry, or a cargo ship, or like a one with a working crane, or a working drawbridge, I don't know. Go crazy, and I'll try and pick the best one and go for it in that, uh, in that uh, session. So yeah, let's get started, and go through all the blocks I gotta use. I usually just use the general blocks and the specialized blocks because those are good blocks for shipbuilding. So let's see how... well actually let's get our vehicle out since we're gonna need to drive it. Go back to vehicles. Um, hmm. Well we could use a bit car, a little car. Uh, how about just an average size car? Let's go red. Eh. That looks horrible. Let's go for it. Let's go with the better looking car. What's this? Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna use that, even though this probably weighs a ton. But yeah, that that'll be that'll be an added bonus because I've already tried making this to see if it actually would work, and it worked pretty well. So I just gotta build a better one that's more reinfor uh, reinforced, meaning that and it has more like buoyancy for it, so it can handle the weight. Hmm. All right. So we got four by four. How big is a four by four? Go. Um, yeah, I think that can hold the car. Yeah, it should hold the car just fine. Yeah, so let's go with four by four. So is there a longer four by four? Uh, four by eight. There we go. That's a nice little fairy length. Oh yeah, that'll fit this guy just perfectly. Ta-da! All right, so let's get started. Let's put this in the air, freeze it up here. And I know you're going to be seeing all these little tips because I can't disable that for some reason. Because when I go to my context menu, it doesn't work for any of you who actually play this game as well. Which I'm sure most of you should know what it is if you're around YouTube a lot. I like to watch uh, Machinima stuff. Okay. I need I need a way to get to the... Because what we're kind of doing is a roll-off, roll-on kind of ferry where you drive on one side and then you could just drive straight and then drive off the other side on the other shore so it would be open in the middle so that a car can fit through so um, I need to make a ramp so let's put a ramp on this side that I'll somehow get up so let's go specialized go down to I believe there is a 2x2 two two ramp ah there it is should be able to get, uh, should be able to walk up this. Let's see. Let's see. Yep, no problem. All right. So let's get this put on. And my favorite tool to use is Easy Weld, which is pretty much no. I don't want Smart Weld. I want Easy Weld. For some reason, the Smart Weld. I use. I usually use it a lot. I mean, before I really got into Minecraft, I used to build ships on this game a lot. And I have, I have plenty of pictures on my Steam account. Uh, let's just go with the exact center. Select it. There we go. Alright, now we have it selected, so I can easily just come over here and put it down. Where is... Okay, here's the middle. I'm glad that they put the grid system in. That really helps. Um, let's see. So one... Wait, where's the middle? Okay, there's... Middle's right there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to find the center. So... One... There's one unit, I guess. Or maybe... Yeah, these go every two blocks, so I guess that was just two units. Ugh! Oh my god, this is confusing. How about we just go... 
one unit from the side. Sound good? Uh, right there is where we want to be. Eh, come on. Come on, get on that little dot. <laughs> there we go. Whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's really hard to be perfect with this. Alright. So that's now attached to this bottom portion. Which makes sense because I welded it. And let's put another one on the other side. To make it even. And I think I might have to sneeze. I don't know. Alright, so... Get this one welded on the other side. I hate having to squirrel, uh, scroll. I wish I could just use like a button to go quickly back to what I previously had, but I, oh well. Alright. So let's p try to put this in the same exact spot this was in, which was two units from the edge, so there's one unit. I'm at half. There we go, right there is where we need to be. Alright. Go. And rotate it so that it's straight. There we go. Now we gotta put a two by one in the middle. I know I'm probably I'm saying all these things. You might not be like, "What?" No, that's that's a one by point five. Uh, it's a seven five. Where's the one ones? Ah, oh, there it is. One one. Uh, I need to go to two two. There we go. Now we gotta weld this in the middle. Whoops. That was the wrong button. <clears throat> Alright. Put that. Ah, damn it. I keep clicking. It's supposed to be right click to easy weld and then left to do a regular weld. Easy. There we go. <clears throat> now to put it in the exact middle. Yup. And. Make sure it's straight. There we go. Ta-da! There's a ramp. Now we gotta weld it all together. So this to that. And that to this. There we go. Ta-da! I'm so pro. Alright. Next, what do we need? I also need to make sure this is actually tall enough. Yeah, this should be tall enough to reach the top of the wall. Because if you remember, we still need to be able to make this drive off. Okay. What next? Well, we need to put... I was thinking about a thin plate on the side so that it, the vehicle's kind of to the side but not in the middle. Because that's pretty much the only way if I'm able to have a walkway up. And wow, I cannot walk up that. Because of. Thing with that. Uh, thing with Gary's Mod, nothing can completely. Uh, sorry. Can completely permanently attach itself, so. Kind of have to fiddle with that. Whoops. That's okay. It was this build anyway. Alright. Now to get the same exact pieces but are flat. So, 2 by 2 And hopefully they have a flat angled one that's 2 by 2 Yes, they do. Good job. Okay. Now to come down here. Take the center. Take that. Bring it over to here. Let's see. Which one... No, one more over to center. Right? No, maybe? I don't know. No, I don't think that's center. I think it's this one is center. We'll find out. Go. Oh yeah, perfect. Um, hmm. Whatever, that's straight enough. That is straight enough in my opinion. Hopefully we can still fit the- oh god. <laughs> Just weld yourself. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, you, you, yeah. You fit fine. There we go. See, perfect little fairy. And back to my tool gun. And we'll attach all the rest of these. Come on. Select the middle. Thank you. We'll come over here to the exact center. Put this down there. Um, hmm. Okay. That looks good. And finally, to pick up this last piece, we'll fly on up here. 
and put it down right it should be center yeah right here should be the center yep I'm so good and boom ta-da there now we actually have two walls now to weld all these to like each other so that they won't move as much that's pretty much the only thing you do to keep it from moving so much is weld everything to each other it takes time but it's worth it in the end boom all right now that we have that we need to work on the bridge which will be on top of it so let's get a how wide was this again this was four so it's a four by two piece we need and it doesn't even need to be that big um... Hmm. I think I'll just use a flat sheet uh... four that's three four by uh... wait a minute I think I'm looking for a different... I need like a two by four there we go <laughs> do, 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 do. and right there bring it over to here Put it on this edge. I like the grid system. That helps you like get, make sure everything's all all right. Perfect. See, this is looking pretty cool, isn't it? Weld, 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 and weld, and weld. <laughs> Ta -da. There we go. That actually looks like a pretty cool fairy, doesn't it? I just need to, uh, they used to have stair blocks that worked so great, but, oh well, I guess I'll just jump up this, like, you can jump up this and get up. Just gotta make sure this thing is pretty stable when it's in the water, which I can help make sure of that by adding invisible things to help it stabilize. But yeah, so up here will be the bridge. Um, need to figure out, I think I'll just use thin walls. Problem is they don't have a suitable window piece anymore. I guess I could just use one big piece like this. How big do they have? Um, I guess... Problem is they don't have any more smaller pieces, so... Let's just go with like a 3 by 